Welcome to Bray. We have come to this beautiful town in County Wicklow for a big day out. So let's get started. Well, we've just stepped off the train at Bray and an old friend is waiting for us on the platform. It's Isambard Kingdom Brunel. And of course, we've met him many times before, including in the flesh when we visited Bristol. I can remember my mother telling me that before I was born, the family used to visit Bray for their summer holiday. And fact, my sisters just reminded me that when she was about 12 years old, they used to come down every summer for their week's break. And it's the first time that I've ever been here myself, um, although I've wanted to visit. Isn't it just one of those things, you keep putting things off, but eventually, if you do get round to it, it really does pay off in the end with um, a lovely day out here at the beach, even if it is a little bit windy. Fancy taking a dip in the water today, Paul? I don't think so. It's too cold. Ugh. I love visiting some of these nice tranquil beaches that are pretty far away. of sand and pebbles, so you can decide which bit you want to walk. I suppose it depends which bit is the driest. Uh, I nearly got my feet wet when a, a rogue wave just came in and I uh, had to like, move out of the way pretty quickly, which is not easy for me these days. But I do like all these waves hitting the shoreline. 
it's really calming feeling, I think. And it kind of puts you at ease. Oh, I could stay here for hours. Oh wow, look at the rainbow. You can get to Bray by taking the dart from Dublin. Thanks for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yes, do. Please subscribe. I mean, really, please subscribe. Told you there would be a Duns. What a magnificent building. It is the Holy Redeemer Catholic Church. Hmm. What do you think? I think we're going to do the lunch menu at Jasmine House and we can have a starter and a main course for $14.90. That's not bad. Sounds good. It's Euro, don't forget, Euro. Well, we just had a fantastic lunch at Jasmine House, haven't we, Paul? It was fabulous, and we had jasmine tea. I think it's been one of the highlights of our trip to Ireland so far. So if you're in Bray and you want lunch, to keep you going for the rest of the day, I highly recommend Jasmine House. Right there. Nana's tea. Oh my God, Nana. She makes really good tea. Look at this. Do you remember these things? Nana's classic. Oh! Oh, this is what we had in Chinatown. Oh, look at that. What is it called? The, uh, well, the bubble waffles. Well, it was called something else, wasn't it? Aren't they like mini pancakes or something? Or like... No, those are like waffle balls. Yeah, that, that is what it is. Well, I think we ought to get some then. I have to get some. <laughs> we have to get some. And now we're gonna see what they have in the Smart Bear Cafe. So let's take a look. Smart 
Fair Cafe. So we were able to get four of these tasty treats for 10 pounds. I filmed a bit of it because I was a little cheeky inside. Um, but yeah, this will be as a sweet and savory snacks for later. So let's get going. The rain's coming down now, Paul. I think it's the end of the show. Does that mean that we're done for another day? I know I am. If you can hear us through the wind, that's it from Bray and that's it from Ireland. We've had a fantastic time here, despite the weather, but you know, it's all part and parcel of coming to Ireland. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We'll run non-stop to Dunleary. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bray.